G'day, this is Captain Oob, and this is a quad double barrel shotgun with bullets exploding for area damage and VATS criticals filling 15% faster. So, 178 damage, no damage perks on this at all, so I think this is going to be alright. Obviously, the quad legendary effect is going to multiply our ammo by 4, so we get 8 shots out of this is going to be firing very fast, because the rate of fire on this, despite being at 36, is a lot faster than what you'd think it's actually the fastest for the ballistic shotguns, so that's good for DPS. We've got decent range because we can't suppress this, so, you know, we'll be able to reach out and attack our targets from further out, and we've got Skeet Shooter along with a True Barrel and a Line Sock to keep that hip fire nice and tight and that accuracy stat up. So using this thing in VATS with the criticals coming 50% faster seems like a good idea. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this one, so... Let's chuck on some shotgunner perks and then immediately get um, discouraged by the amount of damage that this does not gain out of it. Let's see, we got now 318. Well, I was wrong, 318 is definitely very strong. It's a good starting point. A couple of the important perks here is going to be Enforcer, so we can just shoot stuff and cripple it very easily because you hit once with the bullet itself and then the explosion counts as another hit, so we can take anything out fairly easily. We've got gun through there if we want to use this in VATS. We've got a couple of things in here that'll help us out. Far-flung fireworks, decent for crowd control. Uh, I've got follow through, which might be useful against things that we can get the drop of, such as a Myler Queen or a Swan, the Behemoth that is. I've also got Skeet Shooter to tighten up that hip fire accuracy even more in the spread and everything. Concentrate fire to zero in on the torso because you can't really get good uh, damage with headshots with explosive guns because this game is munted. Let's begin. Okay, so here we are outside of Hungry Jack's, known in America as, the, what, Burger King? And I want myself a Hunger Tamers box. It's got a Whopper in it, it's got a Barbecue Bacon Deluxe... Uh, oh, it's, you can either get a Whopper or a Barbecue Bacon Deluxe. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop talking about food because I don't want to be hungry right now. I need to have my mind on the game. And we are playing a game right now, and what are video games meant to be? Fun! How can you make video games fun? By killing stuff easily, and also making sure we pay attention to mutant hounds and killing them when we uh, see them as priority targets, because they will they will eat your ass into your head caves in. They'll kill you that quick these days. So, we're targeting the torso here, getting heaps of explosive damage. Don't have to use VATS, but it's a lot more consistent with VATS. It's like the, the game's targeting computer is giving us a hand here, and... For some reason, like a millisecond after I shoot them, we're getting... Is that magic damage? Better not be. 414 with adrenaline at full health. We could boost that like 2% further if we had Nerd Rage. And there's level 340, so even better and better. We'd have a little bit of health taken off of us if we didn't have that uh, context-sensitive level up there. But let's keep going, I suppose. That dog can die. Huh just whiffed everything there. That's interesting. And you can see where the explosions were thrown above the target, and that is why you gotta go for the torso, because the game's munted. I already, already explained it. But luckily for me, I can use this thing in bats from a great range, and this dog decides to scream. I guess I destroyed both of his legs, so what else could he do but scream, right? Let's go inside before that truck explodes. Okay, we're already making great time here, so I'm just going to keep this steam train rolling. Nice, uh, I guess, whiffing there, Vats. That's pretty good. And since this thing ain't no automatic weapon, you'll find that it's a little bit more usable with concentrated fire. It seems to be rising at least to 20% if we don't get the hit on. So if we're not hitting those first couple of shots, why would I target a dog behind a wall which I can't possibly see? That's, that's some good mechanics there, Vats. Keep going. Ah, these two. They're close enough to bounce explosive damage off of. Except there aren't. And you'll see that I'm doing 80 damage per shot sometimes, 105. Um, that's all of the pellets doing that damage because what happens when you fire this thing is it, it spreads all of that base damage that you see on the weapon card between what projectiles are there. And I'm going to do a tactical retreat because the doggery looked at me wrong. Okay, so I'm noticing now that this thing 
Nowhere near as consistent as I need it to be. For fuck's sake. I hate dogs in this game so much. That's only an arm cripple though. We can roll with that because if we target stuff, the torso in that, that's much better. And if he happens to pull a critical, yeah, there's another doggo. Well, now I've got a bunch more perception from the unyielding armor, so targeting torsos should be decent. We're having a... Okay, Vats, I need to have a... I need to sit down and talk to you about target priority, because you've... Far too many times has... We've, uh, we've gone around the corner and targeted something that we couldn't possibly hit. And despite being a shotgun, we're pushing these things medium range. It's actually pretty good. I'm about to die. Hey, where's that tactical level up now? That'll do. And we're back into it with a vengeance. We've seemed to have uh, pulled a lot more super mutants than usual here. And I'm fairly certain I do have a dense chest piece on, right? No, it's pneumatic, so I'm not getting staggered, but I'm going to get killed by my own explosion. So that's potentially hazardous to my health, and it was. It got me killed, but that's okay, because using Stimpak sucks. You want to sell them to Protectrons and just reset your health by dying. Technically, it's exploitation, but this entire fucking game is an exploitation on the consumers, on me, on my sanity. Plenty of dogs around these days. Now yeah, we'll just tank that full auto firing. That's fine. It's realistic. It's about as realistic as this thing somehow fitting eight shells into it. I guess if you had some sort of crazy system which activates the uh, the shotgun cartridges like with electronics, you have like little electronic receivers going down the barrel, you could just keep looting them in. <laughs> Although the barrel space from your first couple of rounds would be kind of terrible and probably defeats the purpose of doing that. Look, there's a reason that they moved on to tubes for storing ammo and then to magazines because it's a much better system. That it was one thirsty dog. It chased me around for ages. I could hear him, didn't know where he was. Let's continue this slaughter against the ghouls because I would like to incite racial prejudice. Just kidding, these guys aren't a race. They're pests. They're vermin. They're annoying. That one can die. There we go. Get those good torso shots. Get those wall hacks. Kill everything. What have we got here? Troubleshooters trap a chest piece. Oh, that's so worth it. Now that I am in close quarters and I can't fucking see what I'm shooting at because the game's like, nah bro, we gotta show you this completely worthless troubleshooter's chess piece. That's annoying game, I wish we could toggle that off. Righto, back in now. I'm going to pick up all of those tin cans to prevent the ear rape that was the explosive physics pushing them around. This time we're going to slow down a little bit because you probably don't have the power to deal with these guys. No. No, Vats. No. Stop being a prick. Stop being so terrible and useless. That's better. Keep that gun through thing going. For some reason, Vats tonight has just been targeting the completely wrong target. I wanted to target something that was a little bit closer. I guess that uh, I, your cone of uh, fire, your field of vision cone, selects what Gunfu is going to hit next. But I've got more priority targets. And I don't want to use the C and X keys to switch through targets because that takes time. I don't want to do that. Vats used to be much better. Anyways, so we'll play Ring Around the Rosie here. Got a ghoul. That one's a ghoul as well. Just uh, shoot the ground a little bit. Give them a stagger because, you know, the uh, ability to cripple them is in like an automatic stagger, which is very useful and something that I haven't really utilized as much. I've just been going for shots directly on torsos and such. You can't stagger them out of their getting up animation, however. So that's something that must be, uh, I guess. Oh, look, it's uh, the Wendigo. What's her name? Hannah? Yeah, Hannah hasn't had a good day for a long time now. Now, I used to put on something like, uh, was it, was it Basher? Something that makes your gun bashing do more damage, but I've only got 14 points in strength right now for optimization of other things. Didn't need all of that strength if I wasn't using melee. That's Becca's job now. But, yeah. 
pretty good running this thing a little bit aggressively. You don't have the best gear. If I didn't have the, uh, if I had proper dense chest pieces here, I wouldn't have died so far. So that's something to consider. All right, next up, Crackhead Central, followed by Giant Green Men. The big, big guy, the big fella. Hey, the rocket launcher guy poses some threat without me having a dense chest piece. This guy also has a bit of a problem. You'll find with the double barrel shotgun that the recoil animation makes firing this thing. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Or maybe I did, who knows. I'm going to try to do this without using bats. It might be difficult, but yes, using this thing in third person is a great way to fire it very quickly without losing track of your target. And there's a stagger there. That's what I wanted. He stopped firing at me for the meantime. He's going to take some cover and immediately get his ass... His head blown off. His ass blown off. Same thing, different smell. This guy's a melee guy, so we can you know, cripple his legs and then laugh at him. Although he seems to have shoggered off the leg cripple pretty easily. Maybe they're doing stim packs these days in the uh, Blood Eagles. Who even knows? But yes, um, not using this thing in bats and using its uh, enforcer... I guess for more of a support role just to make sure I'm not being, you know, having super sledges into my skull. And that makes it useful, so if you want to go flat out damage, use this thing in VATS if you want to maybe extend your survivability out a little bit with proper target prioritization and don't have the VATS computers aim for you. Then using this thing outside of VATS seems to be a good idea. Let's use... Let's get some of this, uh... What do they call it? Hey, that's some inconsistent damage game. What's up with that? Follow through is what I wanted to use there, and I think I did it fairly well. Onto the crabs. And I wanna, I've got a bone to pick with the um, the Mylurk Kang, so if we can kill those easily, then that would be good. Have some Gulper Slurry. Mmm, tasty. To this weapon's credit, I think it's worthy of note that I think the enemy that has done most damage to me is myself by far, very easily. Ah, there's a Myla Kang. Right on time, mate. Let me just get you nice and crippled, so you can't move anymore. Come on. He's he's surprisingly resistant to my leg crippling abilities. There we go. So the worst thing he can do now is spit black like, Sonic Lugies at my face, which I can tank, and despite having pneumatic armor, it's still... I still get a stagger from it, so yeah, I guess uh, I could sue whoever made this uh, pneumatic armor for false advertising. See, he's got the invisibility down, Pat, but his uh, projectiles are they're too loud, so I can hear where he's at. Also, where'd that grenade come from? There you are. You coward, you ran off. You <laughs> ran off from the Mylar King. Don't blame you, but what have you got? A nocturnal, a nocturnal western revolver. Jackpot. It's even one star, even better, right? Right, there should be some more crabs lying around somewhere. There's one. He's got a he's got a two star on him. I wonder what disappointing crap this one will drop me. Let's find out. Me, you little bastard. Yeah. What do you think about that, mate? Ghoul cool Slayer's pump action shotgun. The best thing about that drop was the shotgun shells that I got with it. Anyways, grenade out. Let's get the Mylurk queen up and running. My luck thought. I'm not a simp. I don't call women queens when they don't earn it. I don't see you wearing no crown. Ha! You're in bits though. She sort of just fell apart. Like what would happen if you dropped the Lego set on the ground in slow motion. Excellent. So here we are again at the Fissure Site Prime. And I've got, I've got a good feeling about this. We've got Enforcer, which means we'll be able to kill the things that would usually kill us fairly easily. Except for when they're like that. Just, just just go away, you thirsty fuck. There we go. That's better. Combat music has started, which means shit's about to get real. Now, um, his Scorch Beast Death Breath, I'm actually susceptible to, so might have stim packs on speed dial here because I might need them. Or I could press the one button and have some water. Yes, the amazing healing powers of fresh water. It's real. When I got a massive cut in my arm from roof and all I needed to do was drink just a bottle of water and it was good as healed. Back in Nerd Rage again, not a huge problem because, just looking around for other Scorched, because uh, I have a thing called AP and that needs to be, there we go. So he's gonna jump on the ground now or hopefully jump on the ground. 
There's another thirsty boy. Here comes another. There you go, he falls apart. The Scorch Beast still unsure about where to plant his stupid bat asshole. He'll figure it out eventually. And now we've got decent adrenaline, and it is time to drink more of this. Never mind, that's a stim pack. Yeah, fuck it, that'll do. It's fine. He was so kind to open wide for us, so we did what any courteous, uh. Uh, what we call it, a waitress? Yeah, a waitress would do and feed him with the spicy shotgun pellets, the ones that explode in your mouth. Forget jalapenos, this is the real spicy shit right here. Lacking Enforcer right now. Plenty of utility on this weapon. We'll have the one that pops in existence from out of nowhere in a second, surely. If not, then we've got to we've, we've got to pull one out of the the, the hole. It's the the jack in the box, Scorch Beast, as it were. The winding up is you pressing the W key. Oh wait, no, there it is. Well, I did want this, so I can't blame myself. And I killed it in six shells. Probably could have gone five there if I decided to not shoot his corpse once, but that's good. I call bullshit. You are nowhere bloody near me, mate. I'm so tired of these glitches and griefers and hackers in this game. Even the AI is getting on that shit and getting aimbots. It's pathetic. Bethesda really needs to sort out the, the cheater problem in this game right now. Where's your fusion core, my man? Right there. No more of that, and I'll just use Concentrated Fire to take you down, drink some more of that wood. Oh wait, that's a stim pack again. I want to press the 1 key, but I pressed the F1 key, you see. I'm cheapening this by taking so many stim packs because there's no sizzle anymore, but oh well. You're going to die. And despite wearing a pneumatic chest piece and not being able to find the fucker's head, it's not going very well. Oh look, it's an LS swapped Protectron. If you ever go on like a flat surface, these guys will chase you down like you wouldn't believe. No, Hannah, we're already finished with you. Don't know where she wanted to come from. And this is why I need a dense chest piece. Fucking hell. Get down here, you giant Chinese soup wannabe. Fucking... Yeah, you're gonna land now, aren't ya? Well, guess what? I have a full AP bar and a full eight rounds in this. Can't argue with this time to kill. And a critical to finish you off. Yeah, I have a hard time av av avoiding explosions when you lack that. If you use vats, it seems to be significantly better. But if you don't use vats, then it's just... <laughs> don't use it. Anyways, so, to close off this video, there's a little bit of an easter egg in this game, right? And... Oh, hang on. There's a super mutant boss over there. Let's let's finish the, let's finish those guys off to finish off the video because I hate super mutants. All right, so it's a scorch v super mutant match, and well, fuck me, that's a lot of super mutants. Let's give them the old fucking nerd killer. That's how you kill nerds in uh, in nuclear winter. That's how I used to do it because the nerds would have fucking aimbots and shit or something like that. And this is a good shipping container. This is good cover. They did the same thing. They're learning. It's actually a three-way battle here. There's ghouls, there's super mutants, a little bit of everything to hate here. There's the master, he is the legendary man. And there goes the horde. This thing's nearly fucking buggered. I do have three ranks of gun, uh, gun nut? Yes, gun nut, to keep this thing going around. But I think it's at the end of its road now, so... Yeah, potentially you could make the argument that this thing is not great on condition, although the explosion means it's hitting everything twofold, which is going to drag down its uh, abilities of uh, durability. And what did this f this guy drop me five caps? That's the legendary drop from the event. That's all you get. And I'm going to leave you on a... a, a, a uh, what do you call it? Oh, never mind. I was going to leave you as I'm not going to show you what I dropped from that, because I know that'll drop... That'll drive some people mad. Well, time for a different shotgun then. It was not strong enough to deal with everything. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. The weapon's great. My arm is not. That's the main conclusion to come back here. If I did have dents, I would have died a lot less during that. So it looks like I've got some work to do. Some grinding to do. Wow, you don't see any of that in Fallout 76, do you?